Hi friends, I recently reviewed Spider Former Hydroponic System and I mentioned that I started my experiments with it. I just got the results from my experiment. Let's go through this grow cycle and see the result. This experiment is the combination of kale and radish. I already published a video focusing on the radish. In this video, I will be focusing on kale. I am planning to grow kale in 8 pots, basically in 1st and 3rd rows. Kale seeds normally germinate pretty well, but it is always better to go with some backup. So I am placing 2 seeds in each pod. Alright, the garden is ready. I will add water, but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. Let's see how this will turn out. It's been 5 days. Germination is pretty good. I see seedlings in all pods except this one. Looks like I forgot to place the seeds in this pod. I see multiple seedlings in some pods, so I will move one of the seedlings to this pod. Now that I see the seedlings, I am going to start adding the nutrition. I will use the same nutrition that came with the system. This is two part of nutrition and I have to add 5 ml of A nutrition and 5 ml of B nutrition for every 1 liter of water. Since this bowl capacity is 6 liters, I am going to add 30 ml of each nutrition. Day 12. Seedlings are coming very nice. Some of the pods have two plants and some of the pods have just one plant. Two here, one here, one here, two here, two here and one here. So basically half of the pods have two plants and half of the pods have just one plant. I'm intentionally leaving two plants in some of the pods. I know over the period they are going to get overcrowded but I'm still going to leave them as is and uh, see how they come up. Day 20, kale is coming excellent with beautiful leaves. I can start harvesting the kale from now on. Day 24, kale is growing very well and the leaves are getting wide and big. This kale is taking over the entire garden. So far so good. Day 28. It is all going very well. Kale plants are getting bushy with multiple leaves. Day 36. I got little busy and neglected this garden for some time. So it ran out of water and plants started drooping. They are very sad. Anyways, I am watering now. The plants are still alive, so I am pretty confident that they will come back. Day 40, kale is back. Plants are looking happy and healthy. It is time to start harvesting kale. I will also take out the radishes today and dedicate the whole system for kale. Day 47, Kale is coming excellent. I have been harvesting it pretty much every other day. It is time to harvest some kale again. Day 60. Kale is coming very nice. Look at these huge and beautiful leaves. All plants are doing excellent. Even though some pods have two plants, both plants are growing very healthy. It is time to harvest some kale again. Here is the harvest and it is just a routine from this point. I will keep harvesting kale and the plants will keep producing. I was very concerned at the beginning that the lights are pretty far from the seedlings and the seedlings may get leggy but I haven't seen any issues here. Kale turned out very well. Even though the lights are far from the grow deck, looks like they are strong enough and the light is sufficient for the kale to grow healthy. So overall performance of this system is pretty good. Anyways, this is just the beginning. 
the scale has a long life to go. I will keep you updated with rest of the growth cycle in a follow up video. So please stay tuned. If you are interested in a quick and easy kale recipe, please stay here for another 30 seconds. Otherwise, thanks for watching and happy gardening. Let's get into the recipe. Take a pan at medium heat and add some oil. Once the oil is hot, add some chopped garlic. Once the garlic is sauteed, add sweet potato cubes and let it cook until they are softened. Then add the spices of your choice like chili powder, pepper, cumin powder and also add salt per your taste. Then add kale, place the lid and let it cook for one minute. That's it. Sorted sweet potato kale is ready. Easy peasy and very quick. For additional flavor and taste, add some lemon but it's totally optional. Alright, that is all for now. See you in the next video.